very long time ago, my first computer was a Sinclair ZX Spectrum. And in fact, I, I don't actually have it because my original computer had an accident and I ended up getting a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus, which was 48K of RAM. So to give you a, a sort of idea of what size that is, 48K is about the average size of a GIF these days uh, on the internet for about a little animated thing about an inch in size. So this is my first true computing love. This was my favorite computer. My, my brother had a 64, Commodore 64. I had a Spectrum. It was 256 pixels by 192 pixels of just sheer computing brilliance. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome machine. Z80 as well. So for my birthday, uh, four years ago, my brother ordered from Elite Systems the reprodu reproduction uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum that works with an iPad. So just a normal Apple iPad, um, which I can't open for some reason. Um, so just a normal Apple iPad. And um, yeah, sure enough, um, almost three and a half years later, they delivered. So we're gonna do an unboxing today. Uh, so no programming today, just an unboxing. So. Uh, we're going to show you the, the kit and uh, how to sort of uh, do it up and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, interesting fun fact though, I will uh, put a picture up of this, but this was actually made by Samsung uh, in, uh, in um, uh, Korea, I think, on the back. Let me see that. Uh, Samsung Electronics, I can't read that. Um, Samsung Electronics Company, yeah, manufactured in the Republic of Korea. Uh, so I'll put a, a I'll put a picture of that up there. So yeah, so let's uh, let's get cracking. All right, so let's uh, let's open this up. Oh, 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 oh it's tiny. Look at the size of it. Look at it. Oh, that is awesome. Um, and that's pretty much it, actually. The, you, you get the keyboard, uh, which is, I'll move my Tim Hortons coffee out the road. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Tim Hortons, um, but if Tim Hortons would like to send me lots and lots of coffee, I'll be more than happy to take it off their hands. Um, so yeah, so this is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll flip it towards the camera so you can see it. Uh, yeah, rubber keys. Oh, they feel so good. Oh, they're actually there's a actually a bit more travel in. I'll move my finger out the road there. There's actually a bit more travel in the keys than either I remember or that they've manufactured it. It's a lot lighter than a Spectrum as well. It's not as heavy as a Sinclair Spectrum, but yeah, it it <laughs> it's, it's a Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I'm amazed. Um, uh, so, for those of you that don't know about the, the, the Sinclair Spectrum, uh, it came, when, when you booted it up, uh, it, it came preloaded with, uh, with BASIC, so you had BASIC straight out the bat, so you could start typing a program straight away, or you could load a program from disk, um, which also included games, obviously. Um, so, uh, Sinclair Basic was kind of unique amongst um, other machines at the time because they actually had single letter key presses for each one of the basic keywords, which is why it has all these multiple values on inside each of the keys. So you see that it's got the square root, it's got uh, go sub, there's also the, the raise to the power there, uh, and there's also a circle down there so you can actually draw things. And these were all got through by holding what's went went into extended mode, which meant you held, held down the caps shift and symbol shift key, kind of like that, and then you would press the, you know, that to get to the, the brace there, or you press, you know, shift to get to the end, that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's the reason why there's probably so much text on there, and of course the familiar um, rainbow on the side here, and of course the Sinclair Spectrum there. I mean, it looks like a Sinclair ZX Spectrum, it really does. That's, they've done a cracking job with this. Um, on the back side, um, on the reverse, there is a battery compartment. Uh, it does not come with batteries. Um, 
It says warning fit rechargeable batteries to avoid damaging device when 6 from 5 volts connected. So I don't have uh, rechargeable batteries just now, so I'm going to have to find rechargeable batteries. Um, so I will not be plugging it in. Oh, I can't get that in just now. I'll leave that just now. Uh, so it's inspired by the, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, inspired by the Sinclair ZX Spectrum personal computer. Um, redesigned in the UK for Elite. And of course it is made in China. So there you go. And it's even got the, the little, <laughs> on the underside of the Spectrum there was uh, little holes here for the, for the beeper. Um, it just a, a single channel beeper, um, but obviously it's just a sort of recess um, marking there. Uh, and of course at the very top there, it wouldn't be a Chinese product without the old uh, QC pass at the top. Um, and then in the back, we've got our on off buttons, our status light, our pair, our layer A and B, which I have no idea what that is for. And then finally we've got the, the charging port at the back there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to have a little play with this. Um, I'm going to uh, get it to pair with my iPad and uh, I'm going to read the manual because the only thing that comes in the, the uh, box is the manual um, and there is some keyboard shortcuts. There's a little sticker there. I have no idea why. Can't seem to get that in focus. Right about there if you want to pause it. And then we have our instructions here, which I'm assuming are all there and it all works. Uh, I love that it says at the top here, rubber keys, 40 keys with legends, metal faceplate, matte finish, anti-glare casing. So this is an anti-glare casing. Little did I know this was, all those years ago, this is an anti-glare casing. I just thought it was just the casing. But anyway, there we go. Um, the reason why I, I, I did actually want this is because it's, I thought it would be almost the same size as my iPad, and it is. So here's my iPad, and here's the recreated Sinclair ZX Spectrum, and they sort of, sort of join up quite nicely with each other. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to read the instructions and try and get this thing paired up together. So here is my settings here. I'll click on Bluetooth and I will click down on pair. Oh, here we go. Other devices, recreate his ZX Spectrum. Do I have to type in anything? No, I am now connected. So we're installing this application here, which is called Recreated ZX Spectrum. So it's this one right here that is not downloading. Turns out, after I watched the video tutorials online for, for the Recreated Sinclair ZX Spectrum, you need to turn this switch here, you need to turn this from layer A to layer B. Now why this isn't marked as game and this is marked as keyboard, I don't know why, but it's layer A and layer B, whatever. Once you put it into layer B, you then go into the recreated ZX Spectrum app, which I'll do just now which I still can't, and also that thing is really annoying, that loading thing, because every time it does it, I jump. Uh, you go in here, you click on unlock. Um, I've already unlocked it, so that's why it doesn't need to be unlocked, but once you do this and you set this switch over here to layer B, it's now the QWERTY to application. If you want to run it as a game, you just flip that back to game. You just flip it back to the A layer, which is the, the gaming layer.
So right now, uh, if I flip it back to the layer A, uh, if I go into, um, where are we? Let's go into pages. And I click on new document. So now when I type in the keyboard, I can do the, oops, the, oh dear. So it's not the best for typing, I'm going to say, uh, I'm probably, probably typer I'm probably typer quicking. I'm probably quicker typing on the actual screen keyboard, but it's not bad. Um, Well, I mean, you can type on it. Okay, and uh, here we have Chucky Egg. I'm assuming it's just gonna work. So this is me playing a Spectrum game now. Press R to redefine keys. I'm going to press R, move up. I'm going to do Q, A, and M to jump. What the heck? And I'll press S to start the game. Uh, just one player. Ah, here we go. Done. Oh, would you look at that? It's a spectrum. So let me type in here 10 print. Ha! I'm back in John Menzies again. <laughs> there you go. So is this worth it? Um, yeah, it is. It's actually, um, <laughs> it's actually a lot of fun uh, playing playing Spectrum games on here. Um, I I said at the, the the top of this that that this was my favorite. This is my first computing love, and it really was an amazing machine, the Spectrum. Uh, this is, by the way, this is actually how large the machine itself was. Um, on this over here, there was actually an edge connector. I can actually show the, the edge connector here. Uh, this was the, the back of the original Spectrum, and you can see that, the, that it would have been sort of very similar to that. Uh, where all this is here is actually where the TV was. And then over on this side was where the power was. And then here you had the earphones and so forth. Uh, everything ran from a tape. It took very long time to, to load. It took like 10, 15 minutes for a game to load. Uh, if you had a 48K Spectrum anyway, it took, it took that long time. Um, as far as this is concerned, the keys feel a little bit um, singular. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to open it. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to open it any further. But the keys feel uh, like they're individual keys rather than they're on a mat. Um, if you actually look at modern keys, I actually have a mechanical keyboard uh, because I prefer typing on, on a mechanical keyboard. But most modern computers actually use this type of com this type of keyboard underneath everything. It's a rubber mainframe. So this was like one of the first machines to actually do this. It pioneered the use of this. It just didn't go the full whole hog um, until the sort of updated version when it came out with this type of keyboard here, which actually gave you a full space bar. Um, this was a better-ish keyboard. It was actually the Sinclair, very dusty, sorry. 
The Sinclair QL had the same keyboard as this, uh, but it also came with these, which was the best bit about it. It was feet, uh, and you could actually stick the, the, the keyboard at an angle. But is this worth it? Uh, I'd like to say thank you very much to, to my, uh, my brother and my sister-in-law, Jodie and Evelyn. Um, this, thank you very much, guys. This is a, an excellent birthday present. I will cherish this. Uh, this will, will go travels with me. And I can actually um, play Spectrum games again, which is really good, because I really like the, the, the games in the Spectrum. They're very simple, um, very good games. So yeah, um, totally worth it. The, the free app's great. Uh, you can buy games um, online. Uh, there was some issues, controversial issues, about uh, people getting royalties and things like that. Hopefully that's all cleared up. But yeah, it plays fantastic. It plays like a, it plays like a portable Spectrum, uh, which is kind of, I actually wanted one of them, you know, 30 odd years ago was a, a portable Spectrum so I could play on the go. So yeah, so it's a thumbs up from me. Um, it's a bit of faffing around. The downsides, the, the sort of cons of it, uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a faff. Um, there's no batteries included. You need rechargeable batteries, apparently. I have alkaline batteries in here, so uh, I'm gonna have to replace them with, with uh, rechargeable ones, because it recommends that. But the good thing is it recharges from just a normal phone socket. Um, Moving it from layer A to B for the QWERTY keyboard and unlocking it, that was a bit of a faff. Not very clear in the instructions. Um, the instructions that, that are part of the application anyway, uh, that's, that's on the iPad. Um, I haven't tried this with my, I might actually try this with my phone uh, because then I would truly have a portable machine. I would just have this and I would take the keyboard with me and then I would have a Spectrum, which is pretty cool. So I might try that next. Uh, so I've only tested it with my iPad. So it works brilliantly with the, uh, the iPad. Uh, you can type on it. I wouldn't type on it. Um, but if you are wanting to program on a Spectrum, eh, it's not a bad thing to do, uh, is to use the actual Spectrum itself. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, it's a great bit of kit. So yes, the downsides are the A and B layer thing, which is a bit meh. Uh, I prefer they call that like, you know, game mode or keyboard mode or something rather than layer A and B, it seems a bit weird. Um, the pairing was v super simple, just tap the pair button and it paired straight away with my iOS machine. Um, yeah, thumbs up. Guide could have been a little bit simpler and a little bit more straightforward, but um, yeah, fantastic, great job. Thanks again to my, my uh, brother and sister-in-law, so thanks guys.